young Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. You met my friend here. Actually, he's in the family. Greg introduced, or rather, invited me one day to go to church where he is the minister of music. And so I drove to Metropolitan Community Church in Laurel, Maryland. Now, you may not know, but Metropolitan Community Church bates its teachings on Christianity. Its philosophy is that it will tear down the walls while building up hope. It serves minorities, especially lesbians, gays, transsexuals, and bisexual people, transgender and bisexual people. Now, I know what you're saying. You're out there saying what the Bible says or God said. Well, you see, I can't get into that. Someone told me some time ago, there is so much bad in the best of us. And there is so much good and the worst of us. And it doesn't pay for any of us to judge the rest of us. God knows what's here. And I'm going to leave judging in his hands. Because you see, I can't put you in the heaven just like I can't pull you out of heaven. I'm going to stay in my lane and let him take care of that. I just know to treat others as I would want to be treated. I sat there doing the service, and I looked around. I saw gay couples, male and female, gay individuals, male and female. There was a heterosexual couple and they were there because they could no longer attend their home church who had rejected their gay son. The minister looked as if he had came out of the Old Testament with a linen robe down to the floor, open sandals. And he spoke so softly that I had to sit and lean into what he was saying. About 10 minutes into the service, an individual walked in. He was a big, burly man, about 6'2", 270 pounds. But what stood out is that he wore a woman's brown wig. He carried a black pocketbook, and he wore a bead bracelet on his arm. Now, all of you know, if he had been in any other circumstances, any other room, People would have been laughing and snickering and hunching. Did you see that? But here, no one batted an eye. They were walking their spirituality. I sat there and I was reminded of a movie that was called Normal. It's about a couple, man and wife, who had been married about 25 years. They lived in small town America, Bible Belt. He had worked for 30 years at uh, John Deere on a assembly line, putting out tractors. One day he came into the house with such a grim look on his face and he told his wife, I need to talk to you. And she went there, are you having an affair? He said, no. All my life, I felt like this. I prayed and wouldn't go away. I'm living in a man's body and it's not right. I can't go on like this. I'd rather die. I'm going to have a sex change operation. Now you know all hell broke out. 
There was fighting. There was arguing. There was confusion. There was rejection. The town talked about it. Someone put, you ain't normal on his truck. His son cursed him. And as it continued and time went on, finally, there was love, support, and resolution. When the minister went to his wife and said, you have the church support, you may leave your husband. She looked at him in disbelief and she said, don't you understand? He is my heart. He is my past, my present, and my future. And I'm not going anywhere. His 13-year-old daughter would polish his toenails. One day, he wore earrings and perfume to work. And the men that he had been working with for 30 years dragged him into the bathroom and beat him. And his wife said, what were you thinking? And he said, I feel, I just wanted to feel pretty. And this continued on. And then they found resolution. And I just wanted to share this story with you. Because you see, as I sat there, and Greg was tinkling the ivories, singing in a strong, tender voice that day in church, I felt good about being in a place where anyone could come, feel welcome, feel loved by God and could also feel pretty. Mm -hmm.